The Rogue Planet arc is the next major arc for Solar Balls, and nearly all we know of it comes from this one soundtrack that was released a few weeks ago. And just look at it, isn't it so cool? We can see Planet X in front of a group of rogue planets, and there are a lot of them. Knowing that these planets most likely resemble their real life counterparts, all we have to do is match them and we should be able to find out their identities. So, that is what I plan to do today. Find out who these rogue planets are, and give my general predictions for this arc. So, to begin, we should probably answer what is a rogue planet. Well, according to Britannia, it is a planet that does not orbit a star, but instead wanders freely. Now, there are a lot of rogue planets out there, but luckily for us, this cover image does give us two criteria for the rogue planets featured which will narrow our search down. The first one is that they must be close-ish to our star, as we do see that Planet X is in this image, and we know from this scene... ...that Planet X has not travelled that far from the solar system, even though an entire major arc has happened, with a lot, like Jupiter returning, the solar system becoming empty, and the Earth awakening. No, not that one, this one. Even including what has happened recently, like the moons becoming planets, and the solar system being stuck in its true scale, I still suspect that he has not travelled that far away yet. In astronomical terms, of course. So, unless there is a time jump, I suspect that this group of rogue planets are going to be near the solar system. The next hint this image gives us on the rogue planets is the scale of them, as we have Planet X in this image, and we know his scale in universe thanks to solar cards, which states his radius is 25,600 kilometers, which is similar to the ice giants. It should be noted that this image's perspective could skew their scales, and also that solar balls isn't super accurate when it comes to sizes, as seen in the latest mini arc. So again, there'll be a bit of give in how big they should be. With all that out of the way, let's find out who these rogue planets are, by starting with the biggest and working our way down from there. So this is the rogue planet who we will start with. What do we know about her? Well, firstly, she is the largest of the rogue planets, and seems to have everyone orbiting around her, presumably making her the leader of this group. We can also see a dust cloud orbiting around her, and this seems to point to her being a brown dwarf. In particular, I think she is OTS-44, as that is a brown dwarf that has a dust cloud, like seen here in this concept image. The next rogue planet we will look at is this red maroon coloured one. She is also definitely bigger than Planet X, and seems to be a secondary leader for the group. To me, she looks like this rogue planet, and I'm not going to try to say that name. I say this because of this image of the celestial object, which has similar colours and style to what we see in the cover image. It's missing the auroras though. This purple rogue planet, to me, seems to be Wise 15412250, as again the colours match. The blue rogue planet to the right to me, looks very close to this one, as this video on said planet looks like him, but do note, this is what the planet may look like under an infrared camera. Here is another image of the planet. And finally, this small one, who is my favourite rogue planet right now, to me, could be this planet. I'm the least certain on this one though. According to Wikipedia, all these planets I've chosen do have a decreasing radius the further we went, and are all kinda close to our solar system, being less than a thousand light years away, as far as I can tell. There are, of course, a lot more rogue planets in this image, but they all look basically identical, so it makes identifying them nearly impossible. With the planets we have identified, am I happy with these guesses? No, not really. It's kind of hard to find information on rogue planets, 
as their names are long strings of characters, a majority of their images are these satellite images, which do not help us lock down on them, especially when we are only using a single image to find out who they are. As you can see, I basically relied on people's impressions on what these planets might look like to base my picks, but I could be totally wrong. I do know that the Solables wiki does have different picks for these planets. So with that out of the way, what is going to happen in this arc? Well, to be honest, again, it is really hard to say as we are only going off this one image, which means if I was going to predict something, it would be complete speculation instead of a theory. What I wanted to focus on instead was answering two broad questions for this arc. The first one being, will it involve the main cast, or will it be a complete separate side story featuring Planet X running into the rogue planets, and having some adventures together? My answer for this question is that I am very certain that they will be included, as firstly, it'd be weird for a major arc of this show to not include its main cast. Secondly, after all the events of the Moon Revolution, Planet X, and then the solar system becoming empty, we get this scene from What If The Moons Become Planets Part 2. We will be a united solar system. We will fix our relationships and never again overlook anyone for being small or shy or any of that. Jupiter and the planets want the solar system to be more united than ever. This is nice for them to say, but what would be really good is to test their commitment to this by, I don't know, having a separate group of celestial beings being an antagonist to them, needing the solar system to be united to survive. Now this reasoning does depend on if they are against the solar system, which I could see being a 50-50 on if they are friendly or not. The third reason for the solar system being included in this arc is that this group seems to be a parallel to the solar system. Like we got all these smaller rogue planets, which seem to be similar in size to the moons and rocky planets of our solar system. The three big ones in the front mimic the gas giants, and the largest rogue planet is the sun for this group, as everyone else seems to be orbiting around her and she seems to be displaying some light, so it'd be a missed opportunity to not have these two groups meet. The second question I want to answer is what is X's role in this arc? Well, firstly, if the rogue planets do want to attack the solar system, I think X will not be on their side as he still has friends in the solar system, like Proteus. I hope you can forgive me, friend. And he deserves a redemption arc to help save the solar system after the pain he gave them. On the other hand, if they are friendly, it could be that X has found his group where he belongs and helps them out by being a protector like he always wanted to for the smaller planets in this group. There are plenty of solar systems that don't have a, a Jupiter to protect the smaller planets. Maybe I can be there somewhere else. So those are my predictions for the characters and general story for the Rogue Planet arc. I for one am very excited for this arc and this theory was actually based on all these comments, so thanks for the suggestion. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and if you want to see my original theory for Planet X's future, you can check it out as it's on the screen right now. And until next time, see ya!